Let's get started on announcements. And that's just soon, so that's your five advice, possibly five it's for your first three class dividers. Today is a day two. Good morning, everybody, with Sports Court Update. I was real close. Happy Friday, everybody. We begin with some volleyball action. The Jacks do the 3-0 in the NFL play as they swept Niagara Weefield last night in the Lumberyard. Victor Wilson had 9 kills and 11 digs. Brandon Castelline had 8 kills. And Josh Mahoney had 33 assists. The ladies, however, lost to the Lady Falcons 3 sets to 1. They lost the first set 25-7 before bouncing back to take the second set 25-23. However, Weefield took the last two sets. And in soccer, the Lady Jack squad tied the Falcons last night, 3-3. to Sam Haynes scored the goal. Baseball action, Yankees get by the White Sox, 3-2. to And the Mets won over the Reds, 6-4. to The Royals also won their first AL Central title since 1985. Our guest this morning is in her senior season for empty swimming. Please welcome the Lumberman Bookstore Player of the Week, Megan McKee. Megan, welcome to the show. Thanks. So, why did you start swimming? Like, what made you fall in love with swimming? Um, I started swimming when I was in fourth grade, and I loved it ever since. I was a fish when I was a kid, and um, this is my fifth year on the varsity team. So my last year, let's make it my best year. What? How do you feel when you're in the pool, other other than being cold? Um, it's it's quite a feeling. It's um, like you feel, feel kind of. At the beginning, you feel kind of stressed. If you've had a long day, it's like a very good way to relax yourself. Let all your anger out, and you just kind of, you're just, it's just you in the pool. You're, it's quiet, and you can focus on yourself. You mentioned that you've been on the team for five years now. Do you have a favorite moment yet? Um, I would have to say that last week, two weeks ago, we had a win over Tonawanda. And you know we're rivals of Tom Juan. Right. So that was pretty cool to win against them. That we've we won quite a lot over them. So that was pretty awesome. Coach Valari, Coach Leah Valari, um, now in her second season with the program. She actually broke a bunch of records her freshman year at Canisius. Um, something I didn't know. But but what's it like working with Coach the past couple of years? Yeah, she's great. Um, it's it's refreshing to have a, a younger coach that's more closer to the, our age and that knows knows the sport as well as we do and knows kind of what we're feeling because she did it just a couple years ago. So she's bringing a lot to NT Swimming and it's really great for us. A couple of last ones. What are your expectations for the rest of the season and do you have any advice for those that, you know, maybe want to be an athlete like next year or anything? Um, well, we just hope to get a few more wins, a few more... Um, Sectional times, so our girls can go to sectionals. That would be really great. I know a couple of, uh, of them are going already. Um, it would be awesome if we could keep going on that. Um, if we had more girls next year, we're, we only have a couple this year, so we need to recruit for this year and for next season, and hopefully we'll be bigger and better. All right, sounds good. Uh, you'll be back in a little bit for the rest of the morning. So it's a big weekend coming up. In case you didn't know, NT football taking on Will North tonight. The Lumberyard 7 p.m. kickoff. kickoff. Uh, tickets cost two dollars, so we'll have a full recap on Monday. NT cross country kicks off their season in Akron tomorrow morning, so I'll be there, and, and you'll be there too, hopefully. So we'll bring it all to you. The Bills in Miami this weekend as well. So full rec We'll we'll try to get through all of it on Monday. For Megan McKee, I'm Joe Cross. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll be back right after this.